Sunil Bachani started out making TV sets in a shed, and now he's grown that into an electronics empire called Dixon Technologies, worth more than $2 billion. The company will produce over 75 million smartphones next year, and its stock is up 700% since its 2017 IPO on the back of surging local phone sales. Joining us for more is Dixon Technologies founder and chairman, Sunil Bachani in New Delhi. Hi, Sunil. Hi, Nicole. India is known around the world for its software and IT services, but you're a huge proponent of manufacturing in India as well. Can you tell us why you're so bullish on Made in India? Yeah, I think uh, I have no doubt that India is going to be the next hub for manufacturing of ICT products in times to come. Uh, and I say that for various uh, reasons. Uh, I think first, if you look uh, globally, uh, people are looking at an alternative uh, uh, to China because where uh, manufacturing was dominant and where all the players are present. Uh, and for obvious reasons, for geopolitical reasons, and also uh, our neighbor is getting expensive in terms of costs. Uh, secondly, I think India is one of the largest markets uh, for ICT products. Uh, if you look at uh, mobile phones itself, uh, India, the market is almost 400 million pieces per year. And similarly for other products like LED TVs and lighting, uh, India would probably one of the largest market in times to come. So I think uh, having a strong domestic market is extremely important if we want to uh, develop India's hub for global manufacturing. Uh, second, I think the Indian government in the last few years uh, has laid out many, many policy initiatives to ensure that India does emerge as a hub. Uh, so just to give you some example, India did reduce the corporate tax for new companies to 17% and for existing manufacturing companies to as low as 22%, uh, which I believe is probably uh, one of the lowest as far as any developing economy is concerned. Uh, recently, the government has also rolled out the game-changing uh, PLI scheme, which is the Production Linked Incentive Scheme, uh, wherein uh, you're getting incentivized on your incremental sales uh, for the next five years. And the incentives range from uh, 6% and they go down to 4% over a period of, over a period of five years, as I said. Uh, and I think this scheme of the government can be a game changer, as I said. Uh, one, because it helps build Indian industry scale, which is extremely important to be competitive in global markets. Uh, it also helps uh, develop Indian champions uh, for companies like us. It also helps in creating a strong component ecosystem and backward integration. So I think uh, putting all these uh, you know, things in place, I'm extremely confident that India will emerge as a hub for manufacturing of these products in times to come. And uh, Dixon, uh, we at Dixon hopefully will have a large role to play uh, in, in this ecosystem. So other than government support, how has Dixon been able to succeed in this space? So I think uh, you know what we have done in the last uh, many years is uh, also you know uh, de-risk our business by getting into multiple product categories. Uh, today the company is one of the largest players uh, in segments like consumer electronics, like LED televisions, uh, where we have a capacity of almost seven million sets per annum. In LED lighting, where uh, Dixon has a dominant market share of almost forty-five percent of the total market in India, the company currently produces almost. Uh, 250 million uh, LED bulbs per annum, which we believe will put us in the top 10, uh, in fact, even in the global markets. Uh, in mobile phones, uh, the company has uh, already set up a large capacity uh, for manufacturing feature phones and smartphones, both for the domestic market as well as for the international market. We've also gone into products like uh, security systems and medical devices. So I think the company has really uh, you know, uh, uh, diversified into many, many products and the company is also invested in uh, scale. So today across product categories, uh, I think Dixon would have a share of almost uh, 15 to 25% of the total requirement uh, of the country. And I think uh, uh, you know, another thing that we have done is also invested in design-led manufacturing. Uh, so across many of our products, the company is offering complete uh, solutions, which includes right from design of products to sourcing to manufacturing, uh, logistics and even reverse logistics. So it's basically emerging as from a pure EMS player uh, to an end-to-end -end solutions provider. Wow, that's fantastic. Very turnkey solution. So how can India compete with manufacturing giant China in the electronic supply chain? Uh, see, I think as a country, we have many advantages. Uh, first, as I mentioned, that we have a large uh, domestic market, as I mentioned, 
if you look at smartphones uh, india is the fastest growing market for smartphones globally and currently it's a third largest market and expected to become the second largest market in times to come so we have a large uh, uh, domestic base uh, uh, two as i mentioned that there are strong policy initiatives uh, which have been taken by the government to ensure that india does emerge as a hub for uh, for manufacturing these products uh, globally uh, and i think also another big advantage is that we have a very low labor cost and abundant uh, pool of labor in the country uh, and also a large number of engineers which supports a uh, design led manufacturing uh, i think some of the areas where the country is lagging is that the country and and manufacturers in the country do sir you know suffer from certain disability factors uh, now so what are these disability factors uh, i think these disability factors are high cost of logistics you know today our, our infrastructure is 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 not one of the greatest although even though the government is uh, working very hard on it uh, there is the high cost of finance uh, uh, so even though we have uh, an interest subvention scheme when we are exporting our products uh, the problem is that the entire value chain does not get that uh, subvention scheme it's only the direct exporter uh, which gets a subvention scheme so the high cost of finance uh definitely adds to the uh, uh you know issue of competitiveness uh, uh and there's also the high power cost so even though our uh, uh, basic power cost is is lower than some of the competing countries the problem happens uh, on the uh, erratic power supply uh so that pushes up the cost of power uh, so there are certain disability factors as i mentioned but i think now with this newly introduced uh, production linked incentive scheme a lot of the disability factors are taken care of uh, so with that i'm confident uh, uh, that you know indian exporters indian manufacturers uh, can be globally competitive in in times to come across the product categories that i just mentioned dixon is a rare manufacturing startup success story in tech sunil i want to pick your brain a little bit and ask you what's your advice for young entrepreneurs hoping to make it big Yeah I think you know I I also started out uh, uh you know with just a single rented factory uh, and, and just a single product which was CRT televisions uh, many many years back is almost for 30 years back uh, uh and and I think you know what is most important is uh that entrepreneurs uh, uh must think of a bigger picture and I think you know uh, a classic mistakes that lot of uh, us entrepreneurs do is that we start thinking of our vision in in numbers that you know okay in 5 years i'm going to do this in 5 10 years i'm going to do this number uh, i think what we need to do is you know try and have a, a vision of changing the world trying and making a big difference uh, you know to the lives of people and do not restrict your vision in terms of numbers because you kind of restricting yourself uh, if you're doing that uh, so have a vision in terms of changing the world around you have a vision uh, in your in doing something for the customer have a vision in in getting the trust of the customer and once you do that once you get the trust of the customer you know sky is the limit for for everybody